taking a look at question number 21 and question number 30. We're going to do both on the same sheet. Um, so question 21. I didn't realize we had all this stuff in here that we didn't need. Um, question 21. We want to write the percent as a fraction or mixed number. So we have 90% for question 21. 90%. Remember when we talked about what percent meant, that meant per 100. So this means that we have 90 for every 100. So whatever your percent is, just put it over 100. Okay, from there it says simplest form, write it in simplest form, so we need to reduce this. So both of these numbers are divisible by 10. And remember I said you could use your calculator if it reduces fractions for you, I was okay with that. Um, but both of these are divisible by 10. 90 divided by 10 is 9, and 100 divided by 10 is 10. And that is simplest form. Nothing else goes into 9 and 10. So our answer for 21 would be 9 tenths. Now, we're going to get a little bit trickier here. This isn't even 1%. It is 1 fourth of a percent. So this person has a 0.25%. That means that they have... Oops. 0 0.25 out of 100. This is where we had an issue. Uh, we can't have a decimal at the top of a fraction. So we have a couple of different options. We can move the decimal or we could multiply by 100. Okay, so whatever way you find it easier. Um, I find it easier to say 1, 2, I move the decimal two places. If I do that on the top, I have to do it on the bottom. 1, 2 places. Fill in my zeros. I now have 25 over 10,000. Okay. Remember, that's the same as multiplying both of those numbers by 100. You could have also done that. You could have also said or times 100. It's the exact same thing we just did. We just moved the decimal. Okay. But you have to do it to both parts. Okay, so now we have 25 over 10,000. Both of those are divisible by 25 to get our simplest form. We have to have it in simplest form. So this would be partially a partially correct answer, um, but we've got to divide them by 25 to get our final correct answer. When I do that, I end up with 1 on the top and 400 on the bottom. So 1 four hundredths. And that is our simplest form there. So remember, when we're changing from a um, percent to a fraction, you just have to put it over 100 and then make sure you get it into simplest form after that. That's it for questions 21 and 30. If you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.